I think the moon is powerful because we feel it, especially as it approaches the full cycle. We feel the ebb and flow within ourselves. Our water molecules are, are pointed in the direction of the moon as it, get, as it comes to its fullness. We feel it, we feel it every night, whether we think we do or not. I think it affects our moods, it affects the way we think about the changing of time and seasons. Las veces que he hablado de la luna eh, en mi trabajo es como para mostrar que hay un punto de referencia. Muchas veces los personajes se sienten perdidos en medio de la noche y cuando miran la luna se acuerdan que al menos en el cielo hay algo que los sostiene, que nos sostiene. La luna es el punto de referencia por excelencia a los terrícolas. Creo que sin la luna, los terrícolas estaríamos perdidos. Well, I think everyone has a relation to the moon. We like, we all like to see the moon at night. It's always weirdly fascinating and comforting to look up and to see the moon. And there's always something slightly strange about the moon um, because it's a fake sun. I mean, that's how people are always looking at it. I think even in Tarot, the moon means lie and defeat. So, um, and I think the source of that is because the moon pretends to be the sun, but it's not. And it pretends to have its own light, but it doesn't. It's light stolen from the sun. I souviens que when I was little, I was persuaded that the moon nous regardait. Euh, parce qu'en fait, quand on regarde la Lune, euh, encore aujourd'hui, hein, moi, il me semble tout à fait voir un visage. Euh, donc vraiment, je, je vois dans les, les reflets un petit peu plus euh, sombres euh, des yeux, un nez, une bouche, et, et voilà. Et euh, encore aujourd'hui. Mais quand j'étais enfant, j'avais le sentiment que la Lune nous regardait. When I was young, I had a poem about the Moon. I read that the Moon disappeared or goes away from us every year with three centimeters. And for me, it really fascinated how we are losing the moon night by night with three centimeters. This is a fear that I have from my, when I was 17 years old, let's say. So it's a 30 years old fear about the moon. And uh, it's far away, but close at the same time. We, we, can, we can see, we, can, we, we, we think that we can reach easily. And uh, that's like with the important things in the life. They look close to us, they, they influence us, but the most important things, they are never reachable in, in a way. And as Elliot had said, this is the way the world ends. Another thing is that uh, poets uh, don't sleep. You know, the night is a time for the poet, and there's a moon and not the, not the sun. And in Germany, there is a word also, Mundsüchtig. It means addicted to the moon. So the moon is a king of the night where the industry and civilization and everything is sleeping and other side of the you know the culture the poetry wake up that's why i think the moon is so important to us it's always so beautiful and then there's always something slightly disconcerting about the moon like uh, yeah something ghostly it's like the sun coming back as a ghost that's I think that's the moon. It's the ghost of the sun wandering the sky at night, which is also beautiful.